In this lab, you're going to build an app for the rock, paper, scissors game. So first of all, if you look at the title of the game, it's going to be EECS 1022 W18 Lab 3 RPS game. So the title must be the same as your app. And then you, you can see that at the bottom there, you can see uh, the display. It says new game started, enter names of players. So these are the two lines you must display whenever you start a new game, including in the beginning. Okay. So basically, every time you can expect whenever you click on start a new game at the bottom there, it's going to reset the game state and also to display these two lines. OK, and this is the following uh, assumption you can make about the player's behavior. So every player is going to start with a new game and then they're going to enter the names for the player one enter the name for player two. And then they're going to select the option for player one, selection, uh, select the option for player two, and then finish round one, and, and etc., and finish round two, and finish round three. Okay, that's the uh, the sequence you can expect. Let's demonstrate this. First of all, let's play a game. So now, first of all, let's say the name of the player one should be, let's say, Suyang. And then let's enter the name for the second player, let's say, Yuna. And then we're going to select to see uh, what should be the options for Suyang and Yuna. Let's say for now, Suyang actually play with, let's say, paper. And then Yuna, player two, uh, is going to play with, let's say, uh, rock. So in this case, we're going to uh, get a result for the round number one. So we're going to click on the button to say, finish round one. After this, if you see the uh, display, it's going to change to say round one finished, winner is Suyang so far. Okay, And then we're going to uh, go on to the second round. And now for the second round, we're going to choose for Suyang, player one first. <laughs> let's say for uh, Suyang, let's say it's now Caesars. And then let's say for the round number two, we want the Yuna to win, the second player. Let's say for player two, it's going to be, uh, let's say, uh, rock. Okay. In this case, in round number two, player two is going to win. So now remember in round number one, Suyang, the first player actually won. So now in round number two, the second player win. You know, in this case, we're going to get a tie. Okay. So as soon as you hit the button for finish round two, now we say round two finished tie between Suyang and Yuna. So you must make sure every time when you print out the result, which can be either player one wins so far or the player two wins so far, or there's a tie between player one and player two. You cannot simply just say player one and player two. You must display the names that we just entered for the two players. Okay, now, so we have finished uh, the two rounds. The game is not over yet. So now we can continue to the third round. So the third round can now either be the player one wins. So overall, the player one will win or the player two can win, in which case the player two will win the overall game. Or it can be a tie, which means overall is going to be a tie. Okay, so these can be a three possibility. I'm just going to demonstrate one of them. So let's say for the third round, Suyang, the first player, is going to win again. So let's say Suyang is now going to have, so she has already played Paper and Caesar. What about just Rock? And then let's say for uh, Yuna is going to be, let's say in this case, player two is going to be uh, Rock and then Caesars. Okay, in this case, player one is going to win, Suyang. Okay, now we say finish round three. So now you can see that round three finished, winner is Suyang, and we got an extra line to say game is over. So whenever the game is over, you must to say that it is over, okay? So now let's say we are finished with this current game. We want to start with the game again. We do not have to restart the app. So you should really click on the button to say start a new game. Uh, and then let's see what happened. So as soon as I hit on starting a new game, we're gonna display a new line. Okay, to say start a new game over here, new game started, enter names of the players. So this is exactly the same as when we first started the app. And internally, your game objects should have been also reset. So that's something up to your developments. Okay, however, you don't necessarily have to change the play, the names of the player one and two. We can just uh, override it and then write it to a new name. Okay, for that part, it's uh, not so strict. Okay, so now let's say we want to play a new game. So now let's say we want to change the name of player one. Let's say it's a Hian. Okay, let's say for player number two for the new game, let's say it's Ji Yun. Okay, so we have Hian being player one and Ji Yun being player two. 
Okay, so far no changes has been uh, made just yet. So now let's say we want to go for uh, the round number one. Okay, for round number one, let's say Hian is going to play Caesars. And then uh, Ji Yun is going to play, let's say, uh, let's say the first round, let's say Hian wins. Okay, Caesars and then Paper. Okay, so now when we say finish round one, and then he's gonna say round one finished, winner is He Yang, the first player. Okay? Let's make the second round also the first player He Yang also won. In which case the game should be over already. Because only up to three rounds. If a player already has won two rounds, there's no need for the third round. But we're gonna see how this should be reflected in our game, in our app. Okay, let's say for round number two, let's say He Yang now plays, let's say paper. Okay, and then uh, let's make it more interesting. What about, let's say, Hian plays uh, Caesars, uh, not Caesars, let's say Rock, okay? And then, let's say, for uh, Ji Yun, the second player, let's say she plays for Caesars, in which case, the player number one, Hian, will still win, okay? As soon as we say, finish round number two, it's gonna say that round two finished, winner is Hian, and game is over. Okay, so now game is already over. Let's say somehow we make some choices to say we want to play with this round number three. Now your game should uh, your app should really say it's wrong because game is already over. Let's try. Let's say we still want to play round number three in the current game. Let's say he actually plays scissor, and then let's say uh, this time let's say uh, Ji Yun plays rock. So you would think. We should, we should say uh, maybe Ji Yun, the second player, should win. But that's not the case because the game is already over. Because he on the first player has already won twice. Okay? If you say finish round three, click on the button there. You're going to see error. Game is already over. Okay, so that's so so far we have seen two cases over here. So you should really try as many cases as possible as to see how the game should be uh, can be played. Okay, let's do one more uh, exercise. So now, if I want to start a new game, I can click on the button at the, bot uh, the button at the button there, start a new game. If I click on that, it says new game started, enter names of players. Okay, let's try one more time. Okay, let's try a game where we got tie. Okay, so now let's try the following. Let's say, uh, let's put uh, Sunhei over here. as uh, first player. And then the se uh, second one, Jihei, let's say. So we got Sunhei as the first player and Jihei is the second player. Okay? So now let's try something that will lead to a tie. Okay? Let's say somehow, let's say first round, the second player win, and the second round, the first player wins. And the third round is a tie. And overall it should be a tie. Why don't we try that? Okay? Let's say the first round, let's say rock versus uh paper, in which case the second player who is Jihei is going to win. Okay, let's try that. Okay? Finish the round number one, winner is Jihei, the second player. Okay, let's do the second round. For the second round there, let's say the first player should win. Now in this case, let's say that we have uh, paper versus, uh, let's not say paper, let's say scissors versus paper. Okay, in this case, we, we finish this round number two, uh, we're gonna have basically a tie because in the second round, the uh, first player actually wins in this time. Okay, we say finish round two. Now, round two finished, the tie between Sanhei and Jihei. Again, you must display the names of the uh, new players every time. Okay, so now we're going to play round number three. In this case, let's say make a tie between the two players. Okay, so now why don't we choose Rock Caesar? Okay, let's say paper for the first player and also paper for the second player. Now, that means the first round, the second player wins and this first round, Sorry, the first round, the second player won, and the second round, the first uh, the first player won. So, so far it's a tie. And let's also make the third round a tie, which will make the whole game a tie, okay? So now, finish playing round number three, click on the button there, it will say round three finished, tie between Sunhei and Jihei, game is over. So you, should, you must always print out this game is over message when it is over. So game can be over either in after a second round or after third round. You have to decide. Your, your app must uh, programmatically decide. Okay, so we have demonstrated basically a few uh, test cases for you, but you really try to explain the game exhaustively, try to try all the possibility to make sure your app can really work. Okay, so these are only examples for you to get an idea about a game, but you should really test more.